to be competitive in this industry, you have to use the best possible applications, the best possible operating systems, the best possible servers. So our mission critical systems run on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. CME Group is one of the largest futures exchanges in the world that also has the largest clearinghouse in the world. CME Group consists of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, the Chicago Board of Trade, and the New York Mercantile Exchange, also known as NYMEX. We're on a proprietary Unix platform here, and as a Unix uh, responsibilities grew, our server account grew at the CME, and, and we were running more and more applications, uh, but the cost for running those applications kept increasing. Around 2003, 2004, we started experimenting with Red Hat, and then I created a, a game plan for getting Red Hat into our, our world and then eventually into our production environment. One of the things we found uh, with our Linux environment is it was faster than our Unix environment and speed in this industry is really important. A lot of our better developers were developing locally you know, on JBoss because if they needed messaging or middleware, you know, they would have that and they, it, was, it was too heavy for our developers to, to run WebLogic internally. We have laptops with two gigs of memory. If I have to allocate two gigs of memory to WebLogic, it makes it kind of slow to do anything else. Whereas if I'm just testing and writing code with JBoss, I turn on what I need to test now, I turn off and then I just, I can develop. Whenever I can make my footprint smaller, I can always do more instances. Uh, I expect more throughput, I expect better uh, performance. A stable, well-performing environment is extremely important to us. So over the years, we've worked with Red Hat to achieve that. As we move from Red Hat 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, uh, we've seen dramatic improvements in performance and stability. It's a powerful message that you know, you're actually part of something that's growing, something that's improving the lives of our customers. Our server infrastructure is extremely critical. We support not only electronic trading at CME, but also floor trading, uh, clearing, regulatory, PeopleSoft, you name it, it's running on Linux. We have a front-end trading application called EOS Trader, which allows uh, firms as well as traders and brokers to um, find their place in the market and make trades. Uh, then we have general free applications that disseminate market data, which include the website and some other uh, more real-time type of applications. In 2008, uh, we did a total of $1.2 quadrillion worth of uh, contracts. So most of that was traded electronically. We don't want the market to ever go down because of a technical issue, and we don't want performance to dramatically worsen as volume increases. A lot of our business is based on things that we can't predict. You know, volume changes dramatically in an instant. We need to react very quickly. If we can't have an issue with an operating system and not have someone to turn to to help us with that issue. Our, our customers are way too critical. So the first uh, thing to do was to kind of draw up how we were going to get support for Linux and Red Hat was, you know, had the best support infrastructure and was also the, the most solid product. We thought we could save something. We didn't really re realize how dramatic the savings were. We didn't realize that it wasn't just a one-time thing, that there was an initial switch to Linux that saved us money from a support perspective, but over time as well, you know, we've been able to negotiate better terms and a combination of Linux and commodity x86 hardware ha has dropped our costs even further. Open source to me is, is not just about um, cost, it's about the ability to innovate and the transparency into the code. When I was a developer and when I was a manager, I had far too many instances where we'd have a pay for support model and I can't see what's happening in the code and so I'm dependent on uh, a vendor to tell me what I should be able to, what I can find out if I could see into their code. A good analogy is just buying food or medicine without an ingredient list, right? Why would you do that? We don't want black boxes in our environment which have no visibility into what's going on under the covers. We've also been, I would say, more vocal in the community, and we are becoming more vocal in the community, and we are looking at ways in which we can directly participate. But the thing is, we still need a vendor for support, and so that's where you know the relationship with Red Hat and the innovation happens. We were on the leading edge of, of using Linux. We see our partnership with, with Red Hat as key to staying on top of competition, being competitive, and uh, you know, we're, we're constantly looking to Red Hat for support for the changes we're looking for as far as tuning and, and just an improved kernel so that we could give our customers the best possible trading experience.